Well, it's that special time. It's July 5th. Only comes once a year. Happy post 4th of July. Yep, you notice we have a little American flag going on there. 48 stars of American pride. So you pick what two are, are gone. It's true. I'll be curious to see what people say. Yeah, it, this was one of the things that came out of my grandparents' house. And I used to have three of them, and I can only find one. But anyway. Yay. I don't want to offend anybody by giving my opinion on what two states need to go. That's true. <laughs> okay, we don't have a lot of questions for some reason. I don't know. It's just, well, you know it's holiday week. I suppose. Um, so it's going to be a relatively short video. Yeah. But we are going to do, this weekend, we are going to do the Arnie video. I thought we were video. doing it right after this. No, nah, I've, I've got other crap I've got to do. Okay. Okay, so am I reading? Yeah, why not? Okay, from Dude Man. You go, Sabrina, wrist check first thing. I meant to wear something different, but I'm wearing my sub. I'm sorry, world, I failed. Yeah, um, I'm so sorry. And I actually spent... A good amount of time. I spent the entire holiday week actually wearing my my auto tune up. Hang on. I have a cat on me. She's mad I'm sitting in her seat. She's mad about lots of things. Yeah, well, now she's on me, which is very strange because Kraken doesn't sit on anybody. Darn it. Where did I put Did I not bring it down? I don't know. I haven't been here. I thought I meant to bring it down. I don't know. I'll, I'll put in a picture. I'll put in a picture of my auto tune up. I'm sorry. The thing about that watch, and I wore that for the majority of this week, is I built that watch. That watch, externally, it looks like a dead stock 7549-7010 quartz tuna uh, from that was, they started making them in the late 70s. But that one, I built out of pieces and parts. Uh, I, I didn't strip an original watch, but I modified. I, I over time, I somehow managed to get like. I don't. I, I, I got a, a good case uh, from somewhere in a watch where the where the interior in, where I think the movement had been entirely destroyed, um, but and it didn't even have a dial or hands. And then I came up with a dial somewhere. I don't remember where. And then I found a set of hands in a in a watchmaker's lot. Uh, and then I was like, well, I want to try to make that into a um, into an automatic watch, not a quartz, and so then I had to do all this crazy hunting down to find the calendar parts that were specific to the 7549 for the 7549 handset, because they're a different size, and I had to hunt those down through Perrin and Canada, and they had to hunt them down from Seiko Japan, so, but it's, it's, I love it very much, and it's a great watch. I'm so happy. What, because you have a kitty cat on you? Yeah, put the, the camera down. Oh my God! It's a cat. Hi, Cricklebot. <laughs> she's she's like, who's that cat? <laughs> Who is a kitty? Who is a kitty? Sorry, because I, I realized I might have had a goofy look on my face when you were talking, and it's not that I was so happy, but hey, you have it up too high. I do. It wasn't that I was so happy about what you were talking about. I thought I was happy about it. Oh, she's freaked out. She's freaked out. She's so, wait, hold on. She's like, who's that other cat? Where's that other cat from? Where'd that cat come from? Where's that cat? She's so pretty. She's like, what is going on? He's okay. busy apparently running around the house looking for her outside. Outside, because she escaped this morning. Um, and then she uh, she just appeared. In the house. In the house. She was in the house the whole time. Okay, so what do we got going on? From a Soto 826. Hello, thank you for the Seiko H558 information. It helped a lot. What kind of lubricant do you use for pushers on vintage LCD watches? Uh, we we'll use the same lubricant on pushers on all the pushers because you have a rubber seal inside and it should be renewed, um, but it, it always it's silicon grease. It's a, very, it's a clear, thickish grease and it's literally just silicon lubricant. It's a dive watch lubricant. That's what you use. There's nothing else that you use. Pretty, but you're going to have to disassemble the watch. You can't lube it from the outside. That doesn't really work. Um, 
you, I mean, ideally, everything comes apart. The, the buttons, you have to, they have tiny little C clips on the inside. Those have to come out. And the buttons come out, and then you clean everything. You remove the old seals. You put new seals in. You grease them with lubricant and put them back in. And then you have nice, tight button action that works the way it ought to. This was my favorite question out of all that I've read. Really? From Jose F. Gonzalez. Hi, Spencer and Sabrina. As a budding watch tinkerer, I was wondering if you have any advice on how to avoid losing watch screws while working on a movement. You're a big inspiration, great content. We just got the carpets replaced, um, as some people might remember. And they're thicker and deeper. Well, no, I'm talking about the old ones and how he wondered how many parts just got thrown away. I have no idea how many parts were in that carpet. Unknown. I know one part for sure. There was a lower mainspring arbor jewel in there, an original Seiko made one. I've spent quite a bit of time on my hands and knees looking for yeah. stuff when I'm bored. And I don't know how many times, say, you know, she comes into the room and I'm flat on my tummy with a flashlight <laughs> looking for things. Um, the number one thing is move slowly. Um, that's a real big deal. But when I'm dealing with screws, one of the greatest things for me, because you can't just put a screw in there and then try to screw it down. You have the, um, here, make your thumb the, the screw. Okay, here's the screw, it's sitting in the movement. So this is a pair of tweezers. I hold the screw like this, and then I turn it down like this. Believe me, it works. So you hold the screw in place and you and you twist it down like that, and it works, <laughs> that works really, really well. It's not gonna guarantee you're not gonna lose anything, but you. Move slowly. The biggest thing with working on watch movements is you move slowly. And then use your tweezers to steady it because it'll stop it from like flopping over or going around. That's, that's a game changer. Uh, from Mark Gabriel, $600 for a 6105 8000 or 8009. In the condition of your watch is a steal. In the condition they are more like in the $900 to $1000 range. Now that you've given this model additional exposure, the price just went up another 100 to $200. You think? Man, I've been talking these things up for years and years and years, and they've never come up to the value of the, the so-called Willard, the Vietnam watch. But these, I, I've seen more genuine, more of these with genuine Vietnam history than I've ever seen of the Willards, because they came out in 1970, and the majority of the war was over at that point. Whereas these, I mean, they came out these came out in early 68, I mean, before the Tet Offensive. So, I mean, I talk up these watches a lot, but they just, the prices just don't seem to come up. Well, but you wait till you make it beautiful and I wear it. Well. You're gonna make it so pretty. It will look nice in that nice faded blue insert. It's a pretty watch. It'll be nice when I'm done. It'll be nice when I'm done. I'm even gonna leave the later style six slot crown. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to change it to an earlier one. I think it's a nice touch, and it shows some of its history. I do love that blue, that that lightly, that light blue insert. I just think that's really neat, really neat. From the wristwatch experience, hi Spencer. Taro Tanaka was the designer of the 6105. I was curious, and the Seiko Museum confirmed it to me by email. That was a picture of Taro Tanaka, and so thank you so much for your information. The guy's a genius. Now, more homework. Is he still alive? Uh, he, where is he? Uh, he? It'd be nice that, to give him some measure of fame. One of the greatest wash designs ever, ever conceived in the entire 20th century. And nobody knows his name. He should be a household name. Uh, I mean, I, it's sh shockingly depressing that I didn't know that, and I should. But you know, the thing is, nobody knows everything, and every day is an opportunity to learn. And if if everybody went around saying that they thinking they already knew everything, then nobody would learn a thing. So, let's find out if he's still alive. From Smucker's Tea. Have you ever seen a Seiko Dial A mode? It is basically the same watch as the Seiko Astronaut. I will include the link to the ad which references these watches. I've never heard anyone speak about these models. I've never heard of it either, but you know, it's, it's very, it would be very typical for Seiko to crank out a bunch of different variants of something. They do it all the time. Like there's the Landmaster Arnie that almost nobody knows about. Uh, 
and uh, but almost no one, no one in the world has, has ever even heard of it. So if you have anything about this watch, I'd be very happy to hear it. So, I mean, I've been looking through old catalogs of Seiko because they're all online. I've been looking at old Seiko catalogs, and man, they were just all about just cranking out a blizzard of watch models. So nothing has changed; they still do it. From Lane Edwards, hey guys, thanks for the videos and answers. Sabrina, you look awesome. <laughs> As always, goth or not. Thank you. <laughs> I still say I wasn't goth. I went through my goth phase when I was like 12, like total hot topic. <laughs> but see, I'm I'm a genius and I knew that I wasn't going to dress like that forever, so I didn't let anybody take any pictures of me from that time period, so there's no proof. Anyway. No proof. No proof. It's only my word and my parents' words. And the multiple stories about going to hot topic that she tells. She likes going to Hot Topic. I still like day. going to Hot Topic. She does. You know, we can always go to the Foothills Fashion Mall and you can go to Hot Topic. You just want to go get fudge. I do. I want to go to the Chocolate Factory and get fudge. Oh, okay. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Spencer, you have said Seiko is only good at messing up reissues. However, have you seen and been able to compare the 7S360050 to an original 5126-6010. Your thoughts, if you have any, would be greatly appreciated as I'm thinking about getting one to wear daily as to let my vintage one stay safe. Thank you. Uh, they're utterly different technology. I mean, granted, they're, they're both uh, dyny, but um, the 5126 is a, is a reverser wheel automatic with a Swiss-style setup, and they can be dialed in really tightly to like near chronometer. The 5126 is a great movement. They're really cool. But, um, you know, oh, and they're hand winders. Uh, but the 7S26, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those or the, the newer ones. I mean, they're perfectly legitimate watch. I mean, if you're wondering about whether it's worth getting one to just wear as a daily, man, that's, that's what that watch model general thing was made for. Get one of those things and wear the heck out of it. 5126 is... They're kind of, they're not hell on wheels to service, but they're a lot more persnickety. And they're, they're, they're. <laughs> I love that word. You do? Yes. Anyway, they are, they're <laughs> persnickety. In order to get them right, you really need to know what you're doing. They're really tightly built. Um, they have, uh, they have a lot of sort of fine adjustment stuff you have to deal with, but they can give amazing service. But you, the 7S26, I mean, out of the box, they should be great. Um, I mean, there's always a change you'll get one with the lubrication problem that Seiko seems to have, but I mean, for how little one costs, man, get it. Go for it. From Julie Hill, well done on having a black cat. Here in the UK, we have a real problem rehoming black cats from cat rescue centers. For some ridiculous reason, partly a superstitious thing, people tend to avoid black cats. All cats deserve a loving home. I agree. The other thing that I have read that's just terrible is that stupid uh, Instagram influencers will get black cats because they're cute, but they don't take good pictures. If they have their eyes closed, I mean, they just look like a blob. So then they get rid of the cat because um, the cats don't take good pictures. Poor but she's, she's got the most amazing personality. She's such a special cat. Yeah, and I, I don't think we've told the story of Kraken in a long time, and we don't have a lot of questions, so I will tell the story of Madame. We well, at first you have to tell the story of Kate. What, my beautiful, beautiful cat? Because Kraken started because of I know, my Cricklebot. cat. Oh, Cricklebot, you mean kitten. Kittenbot. My cat, Kitten, I got her when I was 14 or something, or 13. I don't remember. And too long ago. And I found her in a tree um, at a friend's house, and we brought her home, and she became my cat. And she was my beloved cat. I'll never have a cat like that again. I love her. Um, and I knew that she was on the way out. Um, she was 17, and, well, I don't know. We went to the pet store to get dog food, and the next thing I know, I walked by where they have a cat in a cage to try to adopt out, because they partner with the rescue thing. And I feel this on my shoulder. And I look and I was like, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, let's get her. Her name is Bumper. Isn't that silly? And oh my God. And $50 later, we have Kraken. And we get her home. And I was like, come sit on me, my new child. And she's like, screw you. Don't touch me. And her, <laughs> and her 
tail was puffy like the entire time. We thought that she was some kind of special breed of cat with a puffy tail. It took her like three days for the puffy tail to go away. And then uh, she lived for the first few weeks that she was here. She was in Sadie's room. And Sadie, uh, Sadie and she did not were not simpatico. They did not get along. And so Kraken then decided out of the blue that the only person in the house she really liked was me. Uh, and so uh, she, I, you know, if I wasn't already married, having Kraken would be a great warm up <laughs> for being married. Hey! She spends, she she comes and she checks on me and she cares about me a lot and she yells at me all the time and she demands food. Uh, and I don't know, She's right now she's complaining because she's getting poked. But Well, yeah, and I'm on her seat. But you know what, Kraken? My butt's keeping it warm, so when I get up, you'll be even happier. Okay, anyway, Steve St. Martin sent you an email. Sent you email is now a good time to send in my Arnold Seiko to get it rebuilt. I'm not taking any... You have, like, this giant, like, white... Oh, wait, now it stopped. <gasps> now it's back. What are you talking about? In the corner! Do you see? No. It's so white. Over here? Yeah. And now it's not because my hand's there. In any case, now is not a... Here, I'll go like this. <laughs> now is not a good time, unfortunately, for me to take new jobs, any new jobs. So I'm still not accepting new work. Uh, I'm still stupidly backed up. This spring was... I was already overloaded, but then this last spring just put the hurt on me. Uh, in terms of other things, and it really slowed me down. Now, so far, in the end of May and June, things have actually been going pretty steadily. I've been getting good work done, and uh, so things are moving ahead. Uh, my goal is to start being able to take work in again in, like, 2020, um, but I'm not going to be able to take every single job. Uh, I just, I can't. I won't be able to. So I'm considering a lottery system, maybe, uh, sort of a drawing, so I can have a minimum slash maximum number of jobs come in a month, get them done, and then do the next one. So I don't have this huge weight of work over my head that I get in a number of jobs, I do them, they're gone, we get in the next batch of jobs. That's not, I think that might be reasonable. I think the color, don't you see what I'm talking about? I, I think it's because it's focusing on your hair. And your hair's so light. Maybe. I can put on a hat. No, your hat's upstairs. It is? I Sorry, know. I don't have Or maybe that. it's focusing on your hoodie, and that's making it white. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay. If Eminem can wear a hoodie, so can I. Okay. <laughs> and I'm over here in a tank top because I'm hot. It's cold down here. I'm hot. Okay, from Bobby Boy. Seikos are cool. I've ordered an Arnie watch. I'm so excited. Yeah, one of the Arnie reissues. I'm actually, I'm pretty excited about seeing one of those. Um, the price point looks good. Uh, I think they, they, they pulled up the original design pretty well. Um, I'm going to be curious to see how they feel, like what the quality of them is like. I, I'm, I'm going to be very curious to see that. But I, the fact that it's solar is magnificent choice. That's a great choice. Because it really sort of fulfills the promise of the original of being this like really durable outdoor sport watch. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm jacked. I Over really am. Tummy. Oh no. And so I, you know, I really hope one of these days we're finally going to be able to establish a dialogue with the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I keep trying. I'm going to try too. I mean, we're going to do a big old video on the Arnie thing and we're going to try to tag him in it and get his attention. And I mean, I've gone so far as to try to enter contests to meet him. I love Arnie. Yeah, I mean, I've messaged him on Reddit. Uh, I just, all I want to know is, do you still have your original H558-5000? Do you still have it? But then... I also would be curious to know if you'd want one of the new solar ones. I think they're great. I'd like to know his opinion. Okay, from Nacho Valenti, you're really amazing, Spencer. I enjoy every single video. Master of the Masters, thanks for sharing. The only reason that I put this question on here is because I'm... It's not a question. All right, the only reason I put this statement on there is that I... Uh, well, thank you. I'm not... Uh, I don't feel like I'm a master of anything. I feel, if anything, that if every day goes by, there's simply more things that I have to improve on and that the things that I do well are things that I do well enough, just just enough to skate by, um, and that I feel that I, there's so much more that I could do so much better. So I am by no means any kind of authority. Uh, 
that anybody should listen to. I can barely make it through my days, much less guiding anybody else. So, I mean, thank you. I appreciate it, but I don't don't think that I'm the the final word on anything. Because believe me, every day I'm learning. From and that's not false humility. I mean that. From Glasgow Daddy O, I truly and honestly have an option submission for your apprenticeship dilemma. What is it? <laughs> Please tell us. Do tell. <laughs> Please let us know. Inform us. What? <laughs> You're upsetting your cat. Oh, I'm sorry, Crack it. That cozy again. Oh. There we go. From Panzer Greenie. I just wanted to know if the Type 1 crystals also fit in a 6309-7040 case since the 6309 isn't mentioned there, but in the description of the Type 2 and 3. Well, if it fits, a t if a Type 2 or Type 3 fits it, then yes. Well, the maybe we one. should update that. Basically, all of those crystals, 320, W10G, and 00, Seiko never made any differentiation between the different versions. When you say, when we say Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, those are terms that Jonathan Koch made up. Seiko it's never- It's based on year. Of when the right. watch came and, out. Based on year and, and the, the differences are the height of the crystal. The base of the crystal, where it fits into the watch, is identical for all of them. They'll go into any of those 6000 series watches. They'll drop right in. I mean, heck, you can even put them, crazily enough, you can even put them in 6139s. They don't work particularly well, <laughs> but they will go in there. Yeah, people would in the past ask if a crystal goes into a, a really random watch and he'd be like, I don't know, and then he'd go try it. Uh, they will work. Uh, they just the problem is, is they're curved internally, and so the the chronograph hand uh, touches the inside of the crystal. Uh, but uh, yeah, in theory they'll work. In theory, you mean indefiniteness because oh. of the type one, type two, type three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the bases definitely will work. Don't try to put a type two or type one or type three or any of the any of these crystals into. Uh, you just went. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Actually, I just remembered something. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's only certain 6139s that take a 32 millimeter crystal, so not like a 6139-6000, because those are 33 millimeter crystals. Anyway, it's the weekend, so just to give people a heads up, just to give people a warning, because I have people sometimes be like, I didn't know you were going to be selling one of those. We're putting one of these up for sale. And some of you might be going, okay, well, what's that? And others of you will be like, oh my god, he's going to be selling a RAF Gen 1. This is an RAF Royal Air Force issued Gen 1 watch. It's a 7828 um, pilot's watch issued to the Royal Air Force. It actually has issue markings on the back, broad arrow and everything. These are insanely collectible. Um, and so this will be going up for sale this weekend. Uh, and these don't come up like this in this condition anymore. This one is fully serviced, all new seals, new battery, movement is completely disassembled, completely serviced in a new crystal, and you just don't see these very often. No, you don't. I wore it. She wore it to the gym. I still haven't posted it on my Instagram because I'm waiting for you to put the, the listing up. Okay, but I'll do that, and that's really about it. So sort of a short, short session, and... Well, I think one more look at the kitty cat. She's like, F you, woman. She's like, what are you doing? What's going on? She's sleepy. Okay, well, it's Sleepy Friday, and uh, so we're pretty much done, and uh, it's time to make pizza. Pizza time. Pizza time. Okay, thank you so much, and look for that Arnie video this weekend, and also, again, for this baby right there.